Thank you for that, Ed. The feds are expanding protections for pregnant workers today. The new guidelines from the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission say that any form of backlash against pregnant workers is a form of sexual discrimination and, in fact, illegal. However, some are concerned that these new laws don't do enough to encourage and protect businesses. As a result, Nebraska Republican Senator Deb Fisher is introducing a family leave bill that gives tax breaks to employers who voluntarily offer paid leave. I've offered an amendment the four Republican women have come together on that reinforces our current law that has that non-retaliation clause in it. Well, the Republican senator is also introducing legislation to help both men along with women. This morning I also uh, am dropping in a bill to help men and women start their own new businesses. They hold that American dream. They want to start their own businesses. We've talked about this before. Republicans fighting back against another war on women led by Democrats. Senator Fisher here wants to increase the amount small businesses are receiving from the Small Business Administration. Right now it's $50,000. She wants to up that to $100,000 to deal with this issue. The Republican senator says it will help families cover the first year's costs of running their own businesses. Meantime, Federal Reserve Chairwoman Janet Yellen told a Senate committee yesterday that there is too much of a premium in some sectors or financial markets. Valuations appear stretched, and issuance has been brisk. Well, Yellen was specifically referring to social media and biotechnology firms. As one can imagine, not everyone is happy with her comments. Take a listen to this. Let's get one thing real clear. I don't like it when Fed chiefs address the stock market with gratuitous throwaway comments, as they did today. We have uh, CNBC's Jim Cramer reacting. A lot of pressure on the Fed and Janet Yellen right now, not just about her comments yesterday. Cramer's response came after financial analysts say tech stocks fell after the chairwoman's comments. Still, Dow Jones doing pretty good. Meantime, Google is teaming up with a pharmaceutical giant, uh, no, uh, Novartis, to create a small contact lens. The latest high-tech vision will monitor blood sugar levels. It's for diabetics. Researchers say the contact lens will work the same way the lenses work on digital cameras. Developers say this new device may also correct some vision, one would hope. This is the latest in medical technologies being developed to monitor health in the 20th first century. The two companies do not disclose financial information surrounding the project. Perhaps this has proved the Federal Reserve chairwoman was wrong in saying that biotechnology firms are, quote, stretched. More news ahead in 30 minutes. Now here's Ed.